just let the transcendent trio, Cover Girl, Catwalk, and Runway, exfoliating evil from the face of the earth. Laszlo, your island of pleasure is no more. Curse you, supermodels! Oh, how can we ever repay you for teaching us to wear uh, the clothing? Queen Amazonionia. Flattering apparel is the birthright of women everywhere. Ja, it's nearly impossible to accessorize your birthday suit. <laughs> <laughs> Antarctica. The cold wind of fate blows over the desolate landscape of destiny. For it is here that the supermodels have shed their costumes to pose in their civilian model identities for the sports intimated swimsuit issue. Take five, boys. Even world famous model Jane Carson has to pee sometime. But, unbeknownst to the girls, treachery comes in Wedgwood Blue. You, your former world famous cover model Melora Tall. Ow! World famous cover model Jane Carson, prepare to meet your doom. Ooh, ah! I'd still be hot if it weren't for you and that that accursed beauty mark. Ow! 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 The mole's not for sale. And it isn't my fault you desperately tried to hide your age with a series of ill-advised cosmetic surgeries. Time is a cruel mistress. Indeed, and that's why I'm taking your place. You see, my plastic intolerance forced me to eschew conventional plastic surgery in lieu of experimental rubber surgery, which gave me the uncanny ability to will my body into any shape I choose. I am rubber made. Ew. <coughs> Within moments, the nefarious rubber maid has bound Jane Carson, convincingly disguised her as a baby seal, and left her helpless in the path of oncoming Russian sailors. Meanwhile... Move it, tramp. You're in my light. Hmm, there's something not right about Jane. Maybe it's that time of the month, because those super cramps can really turn a supermodel into a super bitch. Come to think of it, this picture ain't big enough for all of us. Without warning, the loathsome lass of latex strikes, <laughs> hurling the sexy sidekicks to an icy doom. Will the <laughs> culprit-tubeless pair survive their perilous plummet? Will Jane Carson escape a fatal flogging at the hands of brutal bludgeoners? Tune in next week for further adventures of the Supermodels. Same fabulous sight. Same fabulous women. Helpless heroines plummeting from a perilous precipice, doomed. Or are they? Catwalk, run they! Calling out the names of the superheroic alter egos, Nefertiti and Helga transform themselves into Catwalk, Feline of Fury, and Runway, the fleet-footed Fraulein. Something's not right about Jane. Yeah, you're right. She has never tried to murder us before. Hmm, I've got a hunch. Let me see your headshot, Runway. Just a second. The mannequin of Mercury, her thighs supercharged from a thousand spring show sachets, races to New York and back in a matter of mere moments. No, oh, what took you? Oh, home bikini wax. Huh. Hmm. Now let's compare. Oh, drat! It's a black and white photo. If only I could remember what color Jane is. Jane. Are you, uh, 
cold? Just take the damn picture! Don't shoot! Ach, mein Schaft! There are now two cover girls! One of them must be a fake. How do you figure? Cover girl! I should have known you'd show up to save that danger prone Dulcinea Jane Carson! That's right. Now come along, Rubbermaid. You're no match for me. Save you! <laughs> Rubber, eh? Well, my nail polish remover gun should work, but it only has one shot. Ugh. Who do I shoot? The fake one! Catwalk, use your curious cat logic. Bringing all her furious intellect to bear, Catwalk wills the very answer from her head. I've got it! The phony one isn't really wearing a costume. You know what that means? Yes! No! <sighs> only the real cover girl can take her clothes off. Exhibit D, coming up. With astounding alacrity, Cover Girl strips off her costume, unencumbered by the body issues plaguing mere mortals, shamelessly removing every stitch of... Crap! Oh, not now! Oh, oh, so close! Oh, son of... Oh, 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 oh you're singing my song, babe. Tune in next week for further adventures of the Supermodels. Same fabulous sight, same fabulous women. the supermodels, Catwalk was pitting all her feline ferocity against her uncanny arch foe, Irony Maiden. Poor Puddy. When are you going to realize that neither your pathetic claws nor clever devices are a match for my indestructible armor? No gadgets this time, Maiden. I'm afraid I had to sell them all. To afford this! Catwalk fires her newly acquired, very expensive atomizer. Let's see how ironic you can be when you're rusted solid. With rust! But how? In concentrating on my armor, you forgot about my ironic field. You see, it just so happens I had my armor rust-proofed only yesterday. What now? Your chamber of death? Well, sadly, my ironic field works both ways. I had to sell my chamber of death in order to pay for the rust-proofing. Until we meet again, Claude Crusader! Run away! Quick, get something to cut my bonds before Irony Maiden escapes! Ja! One of these should help. No, oh, you idiot! You've brought 10,000 spoons when all I needed is a knife! I must be a victim of her ironic power. Oh, that's not irony. It's just stupid. Now she's gotten away and it's all your fault. Oh, I'm sick of being such a doom cough. Perhaps my schooling at Wilfred Modeling Academy was incomplete. I must get a proper education at university. Within seconds, the hair-footed hun has enrolled, been accepted, registered, and received financial aid forms for generic university. The next order of business, shelter, which brings us to the steps of this innocent-looking sorority house. I mustn't become so wrapped up in my academics that I neglect my social education. Welcome, Sister Runway. We've been expecting you. I am two of twenty. 
but you can call me Sorority Girl. Enter. Okay, yeah. Meanwhile, Metro City is about to learn that peril also comes in plus sizes. It's Megamazon, all right. She's mighty, mighty. That lady's stat, that's a fact. Now if Runway would just get here. Ugh. I can't get her on the compact comm. My feminine intuition tells me we should pay a little visit to that college of hers. Soon the tantalizing twosome has stumbled onto the sinister secret of generic university. Cyborg sorority sisters. They pledge another member every second. Too many must have help. Hang in there, cat. Help us on the way. It's runway. Just in the nick of time. Runway! Over here! Help us! Ah! Runway absorbed by the Triomegas, Sorority Girl Triumphant, Megamazon on the Rampage, and things get any worse, find out on the next webstallment of Supermodels! Generic University, not unlike any of the lovely pastoral institutions of learning which dot our great country. Except that it's completely overrun by mindless cyborg drones, controlled by the ruthless, demented sorority girl. Go, my sisters! Recruit like you've never recruited before! Soon all the world will be our pledges. We shall show them the hell we... They'll never forget! Not if I can help it. Who dares? Yes, who dares indeed? Who dares stand up to campus dangers? Who braves all collegiate threats? Who is the physical embodiment of school spirit? That Avenger of Academia, Fraternity Brother! <laughs> Sorority Girls minions just whip Fraternity Brother to shreds! Oh, well, that tears it. We're going to revoke the charter on those fanatical fembots once and for all. Uh, where, where am I? Student Health Center. We just managed to get you here and remove the implants. Oh? Uh, it, no. We took out the Greek systematics implanted by Sorority Girl to sap your will. <gasps> sap my will, will she? Well, now it's payback time. Uh, you're not going. But I want my security deposit back. I'm afraid Catwalk is right. You see, even in their drone state, these are college girls. And, well, we just feel that you're... What? Out of your league. These girls can outsmart you, and that makes you a liability. Sorry, old chum. Soon the culprit tutinous futilists are in the thick of it, valiantly fighting a losing battle against a relentless sea of catatonic co-eds. Yes! My somnabulous sisters! Too many of them. Got to break free. Must use my rocket bustier! I've got something that's right up sorority row, girls. <laughs> Say hello to my jello shooters! Enough in the world to stun my sorority. You are finished! She's right. 
Even with all our amazing power, we're helpless against sorority girls' hordes. Hey, guess what? I'm engaged. This is Chad. I met him at the student union. He's pre-med and works part-time as a Dean Kane lookalike. Of course you, Runway! Beautiful, popular, and engaged! You've become the ultimate sorority alpha bitch! My power is broken! From Filene's basement, I spit at thee! It appears her sorority membership has been deactivated. Ah, <laughs> yes. Sorority girl may be popular and smart, but not smart enough to earn her MRS. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Tune in next time when... Jeez, I can't shake the feeling there's something they're forgetting. Left runway and catwalk at the exclusionary cafe Emetique. Menaced by the Pinochet of the Paparazzi, that fifth column of the fourth estate, the Ogler. Let this be a lesson to you, Ogler. Responsible citizens never take pictures of famous people in public. Especially in the public washroom. Mm, you'll be seeing more of me, supermodels. But you won't be seeing any more of us. Before the gadget-prone, glamour-pusses catty repost can sink in, Runway's compact communicator drills an overture to danger. Oh, this? Oh, no, this is my lunch. Catwalk's compact communicator. It's CoverGirl. Oh, great shades of eyeshadow. We were supposed to meet her for coffee. Catwalk, Runway, I'd like you to meet Richard Geezer. The world-famous movie star and sexagenarian symbol. <laughs> ladies. Ooh, a, a movie, movie star. star. We are engaged to be married. As the statuesque sidekick sentinel swoon with envy, cover girl sweetens the pot mm -hmm. with a public display of affection. Uh, ouch! He nicked me. Isn't that cute? He's all handsome and craggy and... <laughs> Senile. But it's no mere senility that courses through the matinee idol's teeth. Even now, the sinister force behind Richard Geezer's bizarre, nibbly act chortles with glee. <laughs> ah, Gilbert, it's so true. And the wedding's been announced in the papers. Soon, that bitch, world famous cover model Dame Carson, will know her dream boat is a dud, courtesy of Rubber Maid! As the malleable martinet mouths her malediction, the bad news is only beginning. Does your betrothed know that cover girl is really world famous cover model Jane Carson? <laughs> Helena Rubinstein. I never thought of that. I can't be the perfect trophy wife and a world-famous cover model and the Earth's greatest champion. So? <laughs> cover girl is no more! Sweet honey in the rock! <gasps> Take a good look, girls. The next time you see me, I'll be clothed in white. Switch cameras! No angle! Miss Al's cover girl, we might as well quit, too! Yeah, boy. All of you, take off your uniform. Nonsense, Runway. We'll be okay without her. I hope. 
Shouldn't you be saying something? <gasps> Lose the outfits! Uh, is, is this the end of the supermodels? Uh, will Covergirl's wedding be nice? Tune in next week! Same fabulous sight, same fabulous women! Take them off! <laughs>